All right, guys, welcome back to Not Mowing Monday. I feel like this happens all the time. We got a big thunderstorm yesterday, so I wasn't able to get out mowing. And then today's nice and windy, as you can tell by the American flags flying there. And it's like 85 is the high. So everything's going to dry up perfectly. The grass is going to grow a lot today. And I got to show you guys something as we drive down to the shop this morning. I'm picking this up from my good friend Rico, who does custom truck work. And I spent about five, six thousand dollars in one day on this pickup truck. Here, guys, check it out. It's uh, here, I'll show you guys as we're driving here. I first thing first, you know what? I'll park. So here it is. Here is the F-250 XLT 6.7 liter power stroke. Now I got an uh, Rico threw in an aftermarket tune on it. So she rolls a little more curl than you're used to. So this thing is, like I said, I, I threw quite a bit of money into it. We have a four inch body left on it. Got new suspension in there. And then I threw on the mud terrain BFGs and they are, uh, they're beefy and they look beautiful. They look really, really good. And then in the front here, everything. Thing. I th we took off the little trim deflector, whatever you call it. I don't even really know what it's for, but we took that sucker off and then we got the plow package in the front. So now in the winter, I could plow with my mowing business and do some snow removal. So I'm excited for that. And then I got these stock foldables here that go on, I think the Lariat. I'm not sure on the trims. Never had something that nice, but it folds up and down so my guys can uh, step up in there after a long day's work, but also it looks pretty good when it's tucked in once we get driving. So step into the back and then I as you can tell it's lifted it's it's quite a bit higher and i threw on bigger tires but i think it looks really good and then we have a we have the weed whacker rack and we have the trimmers and the blowers fit in there perfectly technically i could use it as a ladder rack too if i ever needed to put a ladder on it but i'm probably not going to with my double sunroof there and so i'll just protect the bed a little bit more and then when i throw things into i have something so like i don't break the glass ever back there i have that little panel i just got a few shovels spare tire in the back of the truck and here i'll show you guys on the sunlight got spencer's lawn care you grow it we mow it now it doesn't really show with the with the paint job that I got or not the paint job but like the, the the color that's on the truck because because it's black it kind of blends in but no worries I don't I'm not it's not a huge deal that you can't see it from far away when you get up close you can see it because on the trailer that I, soon I'm gonna take the trailer down to Rico's he's gonna throw a few of those logos on there as well it'll be fully decked out so I'm not too worried about it and I didn't want to like repaint the truck I love the black it looks really really nice and it fits well with the rims and the tires and everything so we gotta get to work boys we gotta get we we gotta get going I I spent all that money we we gotta get moving gotta get making some money mowing some lawns there you go you can see the coal rolling quite a bit quite a bit more than the last time and then today it's just me today we were so lowing it. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring the Toro uh, Time Master and then I'll bring the, the John Deere Grandstand stand on. And I think I'll mostly be on the Toro, but I might need the John Deere in a few spots. I can't remember all these accounts that we're doing today on it, what I'm gonna need exactly. There you go, she's attached, ready to go. But like I said, we're gonna be throwing logos on these trailers, possibly get a really big trailer because we're growing quite a bit. And I'm thinking about hiring more employees and stuff. So I think we might need another trailer and we might get a big one. That's the move today. The New Holland did good last episode. Everything went good there. Oh, and then I got these. I got these signs on Craigslist. I think Craigslist, yeah. Maybe Facebook Marketplace. Bolt went out and picked them up and they we're, we're gonna bring them for now on i should probably bring it today you know what i'll grab one today here one we'll, we'll go ahead unstrap it and that way when we're mowing we can throw one of these out there and it officially says like mowers mowers ahead like mowers mowing i'll try and slide it in the back it folds up a little bit so i can kind of slide it back there and we're off we should be good to go i'm really excited for snow removal obviously we're, we're in like the later part of the summer but i don't know just got the plow package on there that was really hard to size in there and that was like one of the more expensive things but I also got to get a plow. I don't have plows. Can't get too far ahead of myself, but enough talking, enough uh, showing you guys what... Oh, I got to shut that door, but enough showing you guys all the money I spent. Now it's time to go out, make some money, cut some grass, get some work done. I'll see you guys when we get at the job site. All right, big cats, we're just pulling in here. It's uh, it's a new one. Okay, thought it was left there. It's actually... Yeah, GPS is telling me to go right up here. But that is uh, that's a pretty big farm operation there down there. I kind of like the layout. This must be... Okay, here it is. We'll pull in right here, try and... Nobody's in the in the three car garage, so I'll just kind of stay on the left side, probably the least used. Decently busy highway, kind of fast too. So I'm going to I'm going to throw my my little mowers mowing or er, mowers ahead sign. There we go. Let's grab the sign out of the back. Ooh, it's a little it, it is a little heavier than you would think. So let's maybe maybe this wasn't a good buy. I should have brought like a little small one, but at least people will be able to see it here. And I'll I'll put it probably right here just because traffic will be coming on the right and i'll be closest to the right lane anyway so let's go ahead and get things unloaded i don't think i'm gonna be using the deer on this one but we'll see we'll, we'll take it off it might be nice 
next to the fences, honestly. But I'm going to try and run around with the zero turn. If I have to, I, I always like to use the zero turn. Now, it's not a huge property, but it's all good. Here we go. Let's get started here. We'll get mowing along this fence line. It looks like I can get pretty close. There we go. And I think that's the end of it right next to those flowers there. They, they got some pretty nice Kentucky blue. Whoever mowed this before, now I, I don't know the situation. I think actually somebody passed that did mow it. And they're hiring it out now because nobody nobody around wants to mow it. Or they, they, they probably just think, oh, we can hire it out. I'll go quite a bit faster. But whoever did it before, did they took some pride. And they had some good, nice grass. They took care of the weeds and stuff, which is always good. Typically, when we come into properties or new accounts, we, I mean, like, I don't, I, I, I do different things like fertilizer and spray for weeds and stuff, but typically, I like to just mow, depending on the property, depending on, like, how I feel about the customer, if we're going to be around for a long time, it is kind of nice to throw down some fertilizer. I do do aeration in the fall. That's a pretty big, lucrative kind of way of making money in the fall time, especially when, when cuts go down and the weather starts to cool off. The grass just doesn't grow as much when it, when it really gets cold. But what I was saying is like most of the accounts that we get, I mean, it's just destroyed lawns, just choked with weeds and pretty much what grandma's house was like before we tore her up and, and it, the lawn germinated, by the way, for everybody who's wondering when we tore up grandma's yard and we got her seated, it has officially germinated. I think went out there and measured and we had a quarter of an inch poking out. So that's cool. At nighttime, you can see it really good when you shine like your headlights on it. You can see, um, you can see like the grass quite a bit better, but in daytime, you can barely kind of see it. There we go. This is kind of a. Uh, this is pretty close to the cliff right there. It's pretty crazy that they built a little fence right there. There we go. Looks like they have some furniture around here. I'll maybe have to pull out the weed eater here and we'll slice around there. There we go. A little corner job here. We'll try and get that. And then it, it is kind of overgrown a little bit. It's not terrible. And Grandma's got her clotheslines out. I, I told her I was coming. Well. Maybe, maybe she'll come out and, and grab those, but I might get some grass on those freshly. Maybe I could grab that for her. But what do I do? It's kind of a tricky situation. Like the clothes, the clothes are going to get grass on them and, and they're drying. They're clean. You know, maybe they're wet still, but they're, they're drying, I guess. I guess she's all right with it. We've been mowing for about 10 minutes here and she probably would have noticed that the mower was going. I'll try and do my best like to stay out of there, but it'll be a little... I feel like I'm going to get some grass on it. Maybe she's okay with that. She'll just shake it out. Feel kind of bad. We'll see here. I guess we're just sneaking out of here at the oh i just i almost forgot our mower is a head sign I almost forgot first time having it on a property but the grass looks really nice and um and i'm really happy with it let's go ahead and grab it toss it in the back here i like to bring it the wife says safety first i got to uh you know all, all the time she's like you know sometimes you mow too close you're like i'm doing a ditch or something she gets she gets so mad because it's it is it is pretty dangerous honestly i do have the roll bar up and stuff when i do ditches like that but i mean still you're pretty close to you're pretty close to the road and there's a lot of probably a lot of dumb drivers out there you could say so even though i have the roll bar on i mean i get in a driver's text in or some young kids driving by and just smokes me that would be absolutely terrible so jumping back into the town i have a, another account a normal account getting the address off the top of my head but it's uh it's an account we've done before so i'm gonna shoot back there i actually have to pass through or excuse me pass by our shop i don't think i need anything from there i might need to grab some string trimmer line but i think we'll be good I love the setup, love the way it looks, kind of rolling down the road with the trailer and stuff. And the truck just looks, it looks beastly. Probably don't need the, the weed eater racks and stuff because we have it on the trailer, but it, it, it's nice to have. And I, and I use a few other things and especially fall time when we're, do, when we're doing big projects, sometimes it's nice to have those on there when, um, to put on like blowers and different things. And then we have our dump trailer on. It'll come in handy. It just may not be the most obvious to use right now because I like, because our trailer can hold it. That's what I'm trying to say. So we're almost here. Got the address pulled up. And this is the house right here. This is our project or this is the account we're doing. Go ahead, throw on my hazards. Then I'll get my sign out. It's tough because these guys, I mean, they have, you know, I'll shoot around. I, I forget how big their driveway is. I'm pretty sure it's like, I'm sure they don't even have a driveway. Like it's really, really weird. There's something with 
the property or like the city not letting them have a driveway i okay honestly i'm not gonna act like i know but yeah they just have a little walkway so i'm gonna just park on the street i'll try and get as close to the curb as i can but honestly that's really all i can do and this is kind of why i bring my sign too because instead of just using cones like you see uh like you see most people use they just kind of use cones and set them down now that i can have this sign it'll, it'll actually like say something and it'll make sure nobody like runs into the back of my trailer when they're texting if i can grab it there we go pick the center down right there god dang looks good or better set it to the side for now there we go let's get her backed off i think i'll use the deer for this one all right there we go and we're off so i'm on the 48 incher it'll be just about perfect for this one the 72 incher would just be uh, a little too crazy for this small residential so we're just gonna zip along here and knock this sucker out i love the deer man i just clean the air filter on it did a nice oil change and then got the blade sharpened so it feels good to get her out and cutting because I neglected sharpening the blades for the longest time. It's just nice to have them nice and sharp and we can get going here. Knock out all this overgrown grass. Oh, it looks like... Oh my goodness. Okay, so they had... Let me look at that real quick. What the heck? Okay, it looks like it got blown over, over in the storm. So it looks like that tree went down. Now, I don't know. Let me look. Is there any power line? There's no power lines. Nothing was... There's a tree down over there still on the house. Now, it's only been a few days. It's been like four or five days. I'm surprised that's still on the house and i'm curious who who took care of this tree because i do the mowing for them and usually when people mow have somebody like mow for them they aren't gonna go take a tree that fell down and that's uh that's a decent sized tree that's about the size of size of stump that that tree left over there so i'm curious why didn't they call me which i do all their fall cleanup i take down branch i maybe they just thought i don't mess around with trees maybe i'll talk to them i'll, I'll kind of see who they hired for that or maybe they did it themselves i have absolutely no idea because it looks like it fell towards the street and away from the house so like i understand if it fell in the house they want to get it done right away maybe they thought i was busy or whatever but dang if they have some competition some tree removal company i i can do trees man i can do them just fine i let them know i'll have to let them know but anyway let's knock out this house real quick we'll get it all taken care of i need to go up next to the foundation here real quick like always if you guys are enjoying these videos make sure to smash the like button please subscribe if you haven't already and uh yeah let me know if you if you guys like the mom videos seems like you guys do and stuff so i like making them and we uh we'll, we'll be keep expanding the business i think we have something coming up for bolt wanting to build a bigger storage area because ours is actually kind of filling up i should have made it a hair bigger in hindsight but kind of like the like the way it looks and we have quite a bit of room on our lot still so we we'll thought maybe we could do like a, a storage storage building almost like a cold storage so like in the summertime we don't use our winter stuff and then in the wintertime we don't use our summer stuff and we just keep the out of season equipment because a lot of times with like landscape lawn care all that stuff there's a lot of out of season equipment that doesn't get used like you don't really have equipment that gets used all around because snow comes and you're outside so i guess maybe a skid loader would be all around i'm trying to think maybe some sort of like utility tractor all around but for the most part all our equipment isn't used all all season Right there we go trying to sneak out sneak out here onto the road over the sidewalk and then down this little uh whatever you call these on the sidewalks but gotta get my little sign out of the way <laughs> of course i put it in my way throw it in the back of the truck and the the yard looks good i'm happy with it and we will get going here but that's gonna wrap up today's episode guys thank you so much for watching smash the like button on your way out the door like i said please subscribe if you haven't already and uh and yeah thank you guys for watching or we'll ever get up here i need some more speed boys but i'll see you all in the next one Yee -yee.